Hi, I'm Maddie. And I'm Harry. We're junior firefighter reporters. And we're at the fire station to ask some questions. Hi, Harry. Hi, Maddie. I'm Adam, and I work at CFA headquarters in Burwood in Victoria. Hi, Adam. Today we want to find out about a home fire escape plan. A home fire escape plan is a drawing of your house that shows you where to escape to if there's a fire. You start by drawing a map of your house. So in this house, there's the kitchen, the TV room, the bathroom, and the kids' bedroom. The front door is here, and the back door is here, and there are windows in every room. Do you need to show us anything else? Yes, you can also put in where the smoke alarms are. There's one in the hallway, and one in the TV room, and one in each bedroom. The more smoke alarms your house has, the safer your family will be. Do we also have to put in a safe meeting place? Yes, we do. A good safe meeting place might be near your front gate or your letterbox or another spot outside that your family chooses. Now, on your map, you want to show not just one, but two ways of getting from each room to your safe meeting place if there was a fire. To escape the kitchen, here you would go down the hallway and out the front door. But what if there's fire in the way? Then the second way would be to go out through the window. Of course, only do this if you can reach the ground safely. Now, to get out of the bedroom, you would go out the bedroom door, down the hall, out the back door and up the side path to the safe meeting place by the front gate. And the second way? The second way would be to go out the bedroom window, around the other side of the house and out to the front gate that way. Yeah, two ways, just in case if your first way is blocked. That's right. And when you've done your plan, put it somewhere the whole family can see it. I'm doing a home fire escape plan as soon as I get home. Me too. Fantastic. But remember, every home is different. You might live in a two-storey house or in an apartment building, so it's important to talk to an adult about what your home fire escape plan should look like. No matter where you live, don't forget to practice your plan with the whole family. Thanks, Adam. Now we know how to make a fire escape plan. We'll make sure we practice it.